Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today we have a parcel to have a look at. So let's get into it and have a look. I am joined by the lovely Nilly Moo, who is behind me on the bed, sniffing away. So if you hear any strange noises, it's not me, honest. <laughs> okay, ooh, ooh, that's not good. We've got a bit of a dented canvas and it's double-sided tape, so that's not looking the best, so, oh, oh dear. Hopefully once we open it we should be okay, but we'll have a look. Ooh, 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 they're quite nice colours. Ooh, look at all the aquas in there. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so they're all pre-bagged and they are a square drill, so that looks pretty good. Liking those colours, a lot of greens in there as well. Okay, we have an inventory sheet. Ooh, that's blurry. Oh, look at those symbols. That's blurry. That's not good. The numbers aren't so bad, but the symbols are a bit blurry. I think they've um, photocopied the canvas and blown it up. And uh, instead of increasing the the quality, they've just blown it up and it's just blown out a bit. Let's have a look what toolkit we've got. Oh, okay. Right. So just check that there's nothing else in here. Nope, that one's empty. Okay, so let's have a look at this toolkit. It's sort of up from a standard toolkit, but it's not a brilliant toolkit. It's an okay toolkit. Uh, oh, but it has got two of the good places, multi places, and they're the thin, um, thin plastic ones, which are easier to use. So we've got a four placer then, and I think that one will be a ten. Let's just double check on my little card. Yeah, that one is a 10 placer. So with a 4 and a 10 placer, which is very uh, good to have. If you do like your multiplayer, it's something I am getting better at it. I may do it on camera one day, you never know. Watch this space. Uh, we've got your clear sparkly pen and we have got your pen grip as well, particularly if your hands get a bit sticky when it's hot or warm or whatever. And it just gives you that little bit more to hold on to as well if you do have de dexterity problems. OK, oh, a big, big square of wax there, which is four of the little squares that you normally get in your standard kits. Uh, we've got a little extra bit there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Don't know what that's for. Oh, I do. <laughs> Oh, it's the uh, it's the end of the tweezers. <laughs> yeah, it's the little stopper to keep the tweezers together. I'm thinking it's not a clock. There's nothing to fasten together. <laughs> I'm easily confused. What can I say? Your little white boat, and then you see just you cheap. Uh, metal tweezers. I always find they're quite rough on the edges these as well. I wouldn't give them to children. Really wouldn't give them to children because they are quite, that edge there is quite sharp. I think if you run your finger along it, you get like a paper type cut from it. So yeah, maybe that's just me. Okay, so let's pop these back in the bag. And we'll have a look at the inventory sheet in a minute. Let's have a look at this canvas. Oh, goodness me, that is one heck of a ding in it. Oh, dear. We don't like dings in our canvases. Not on double-sided tape. It causes extra wear, and we don't like extra wear. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. plastic off right let's see where this tape is make sure i get the right place that i'm cutting otherwise it's there otherwise i end up going through the canvas which isn't a good look so not only would it have a squish in the middle of it but it would also have a big hole not the best start right that's it that's got that so i'll just get that bit of tape off there it is a 30 by 40 and it is 35 colours. Oh dear, it's going right across this. Just try and ease it up and flatten it out. Oh, and I don't like the way that those caught, these edges have gone yellow here. That doesn't bode well. That's like when you've had tape. I don't know if the camera can catch that. Can you see that? Yeah, you sort of can. There's like 
where the tape's joined together, there's like a yellow line running down on both sides. Yeah, and you can see the dent there as well where it is. I don't like it when they do the three strips of tape. This isn't good. This is not good. So which company was this one from and how much did it cost? Me? Let me have a look. Okay, so this one was actually from AZQSD, which is surprising because I've had quite a few good canvases from them. Um, I have used my AliExpress coins, so this one only cost me £1.99, so less than £2 for a 30 by 40 diamond painting. Uh, you'd pay more than that for the square drills, so... You know, even if your canvas ends up not brilliant, well, I suppose you pay for what you get. It's coming not brilliant um, packaging. Let's just try and get this off and have a look and see what we've got. See if it has affected the canvas. So that's not looking too bad. That side's not looking too bad. We've got our squashed fly at the top there, the uh, cross stitch marker. And oops. Yeah, you see that's overlapped there and that's come off slightly there. And that's what I thought with it going yellow. It's like when you've got really old double-sided tape and it starts to dry out and go yellow. This is what it reminds me of. And oh yeah, we've got rivers in this canvas. Okay, all oh, where the dent was uh, before we unrolled it, there is like rivers going all the way down it. Oh dear, right, and oh I've not shown you the picture have I, it's quite appropriate for having rivers because it's like um, a forest scene with a wolf over the top of it, so yeah I suppose you would have a river in a forest scene with a wolf, I just I wish they went on my uh, canvas, hurting my canvas, but yeah, okay. So I think we can work with that. They're not too bad. Um, what I'll do is let this flatten out. And now I've got the cover off it. Um, as I put the cover back, I'll try and flatten it and I'll put it under something heavy. It may help a little bit with it. Um, a little bit of ironing as well may help because these are quite a sort of cloth backed canvas. Um, they are plastic, but they've got like a, a cloth back feel to them. If you put, say, a baking sheet... Uh, you can get like the craft mats that are a bit like a baking sheet um, or a silicon mat on it and then put your iron over the top um, or a tea towel, damp tea towel as you used to do for pressing clothes then you can find you can get your uh, creases out but we'll see how we go with this one I've still got bits of plastic stuck to this as well it's definitely not fared well on its trip this one okay let's have a look at this inventory sheet so I can show you the picture I think you can more or less make out what it is but yeah it is very very pretty it is this lovely gorgeous wolf and it's like a wolf superimposed over the top of like a forest scene with the sky at the top there so but yeah that inventory sheet is definitely very very blurry so i don't think i'll be using that one <laughs> are you having a rustle are you having a jane a jane rustle <laughs> You'll end up with bits stuck on your nose. You will. I, think I really must have heard the word wolf. She's starting to get a bit restless. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty standard. Uh, normal uh, symbols for one of these China t companies. Um, we've got the one key code down the side. 35 colours, 30 by 40. DMC codes and number of drills there. So yeah, pretty standard one this it doesn't have any branding on it i'm sure azqsd used to have the uh, brand of the logo at the top but maybe not right let's put this one down as flat as possible so that we get that crease out that's just that little bit it may work it's worth a try we've not lost anything by trying doing it that way okay and then I'm just going to lift these corners up here again just to let this extra edge oops that's the corner coming up with it that's the double sided tape coming up with it just to let these corners flatten down a little bit as well 
and once you have unrolled a double sided tape don't roll it back up again because you can completely ruin your canvas and you will cause bubbles and rivers what it basically is because the double sided tape is an extra layer put on top of your canvas if you start moving it about too much bending it the wrong way it will cause the double sided tape to come away from the canvas and that's when you get like air and uh, things getting underneath it and then that's not sticking f flat to your canvas so then when you come to put your drills on you're gonna have a problem putting your drills on because it's not stuck down properly and you'll end up with the squares sort of like not matching up together and then they start popping open and you get all sorts of problems don't cause extra problems but yeah i think you can see on the back there more yeah you can see that where it's all got puckered up that little bit so it just wants flattening out uh, you can use your tweezers or a craft knife or even your scissors just to score across where your uh, creases have been and then when you flatten it back down again it just then releases any air that have got into that crease and just makes it that little bit flatter so it's something you know to watch out for i'm not going to do it on all this canvas what i'll probably do is look at it when i start the canvas and then if there's any more that have appeared i would do them all as well at once as i was going along and um, if you want me to do a video on getting rid of, of bubbles and creases and things then i'm quite willing to do so but there are quite a few other creators that have already done them but i'm quite happy to give you my take on it just let me know in the comments down below right uh, oh we haven't looked at the drills have we let's have a look at these they are very nice colors i must have this They have all come pre back So if you do like working from your bags, then it's uh, a good one to do. So the, the sky is all... Ooh, that one's got stuck to there. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Come off there slowly, slowly. Oh, it's definitely not been a brilliant one, this one, has it? Don't want to tear this bag, because if that bag tears, all those little three tens are going to escape. Oof, done it. Yeah, done it. So I've got some three tens. And I'm just going to fold that sticker around over there and stick it on there. So look at all these aqua blues that we've got for this sky. It's going to look really pretty. I think it's like a waterfall in the background. Wow, some really good colours here. A nice array as well. I haven't got um, a huge amount of square drills. So I do like doing some slightly different colour ones to get some... Oh, at that one to get some in my spares as it were they've been um, vacuum sealed as well so there's no air in them just to make them a little bit flatter for packaging and for shipping so yeah lots of lovely blues and greens and aquas i'll pop those in so these are all going to be like your sky ones okay and then your greens are all going to be your forest, lovely, bright greens. You would think this is quite dark, actually, but looking at these colours, although there are some darks in it, it is mainly quite a nice colour palette, quite a fresh uh, colour palette. Yeah, look at these greens. It's a lot lighter than I expected it was going to be. But, uh, it would be quite dark, but no, nope, we're going to have quite fun doing this one. And then we've got 3865, we've got a little tiny bit of a 445, a little bit of yellow, so I suppose that'll maybe go in the trees, maybe just a highlight in the trees. Uh, and then some very dark blues, but the darks, there's not as many darks as you would expect, and that's not a huge amount of 310. So yeah, quite looking forward to doing this one, I think this will come out very nice. Okay, oh, that's an escapee. I'm going to get rid of that one because it's just an odd one. And I don't want to be looking for where it's come from. So we'll put the inventory sheet back in the bay. Get in there, you'll get in there. Roll it up. And then I am trying to get organised and put labels on things. So let's grab a label. Okay. 
So we're going to call this wolf. Oops, my pen's not working. Tree. And if you do two, one goes on the canvas and one goes on the bag of drills. And this was AZQSD. And what is it? £1.99. Oh, blimey. Can't even buy a cup of coffee for one ninety nine, can you? And it's 35 colours in square. And we want RF3. Sorry, that was Millie just decided to take a jump off the bed. I'm going to have a look at something on the floor. Not quite sure what she thought it was, but uh, hey ho. 4749199. Yes, QSD. Sorry, my writing is absolutely appalling. And even some days I can't read it, but it's better than not putting anything on at all. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that one on there and that one on there. And we are all done. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this one with me if you have a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you want to press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it that says all notifications you'll be notified in your little YouTube uh, channel um, whenever anything's uploaded from me so thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon bye for now